Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, let's talk mugs. Bread and butter mugs. Mugs that are a little easier to find than those crazy ones that we're never gonna find. Let's talk about those. All right, let's get started. All right, did I say, did I, ooh, ooh. I think I forgot to say, Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Did I forget? <gasps> oh, I don't know. I'll have to watch this back. Maybe I said it twice. I don't know. I'm recording several videos tonight, so I can't remember. All right, mug one. Starbucks mugs. Okay, so Starbucks mugs can be like bread and butter. They can be like $100. They can be like... $800, they just range, range, range. So Starbucks, I always look up Starbucks mugs. And if they are a dollar, $2, I am just going to buy them. Unless I'm having one of those days where I'm like, I hate shipping glass. I'm never buying glass. I'm never buying breakables again. Then I might skip the Starbucks mug. But anyway, this one is says Ireland on it. And it's super cute. Um, I don't drink coffee, so I'm not like really excited about mugs, but this one sold for $34.99 with three bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Disney Flower and Garden Festival 2020 mug. Um, this one is a Disney mug and it sold for $41 with 16 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Disney mugs, I almost always pick up because they sell and they're a great bread and butter item. I mean, even if you pick it up for a dollar and sell it for 15, those are still great margins. You know, they are a pain to ship, but money is money, right? Vintage Fire King Jadeite restaurant wear. So, um, let's see if I can zoom in here so you guys can see what the bottom looks like. It says Fire King. Fire King, I. I say grab it if you see it and you can get it for a good price. Again, ranges from bread and butter up to, I mean, this one sold for $43.55. That's more than bread and butter in my eyes for one mug. So definitely be on the lookout. The next item is this Hearthstone Kitty Cat mug. Uh, this is the bottom of this mug. They do vary. Um, I always pick up Hearthstone when I see it. I do very, I shouldn't say every time. Again, if I'm not in a, in a mug mood, I'll skip it just because I don't want to ship it. But um, I typically pick up Heartstone because I do pretty well with it. Again, great bread and butter item. I've sold some for $30 and $40, um, but it has to be like the right print. This one sold for $20.50 with seven bids and the buyer paid shipping. Starbucks, here's another Chinese New Year of the rat. So I have no idea what that means, but it's got this little mouse. They're calling it a rat. It looks like a mouse. Rats are like gnarly and yucky, ugly looking. And this is like a cute little mouse. I don't know. Not that mice are cute. I don't know. Hamsters are cute. Anyway, $44 this one sold for with 10 bids plus shipping. When I, when I think of a rat, I think of like the the movies where they're like trampling through the sewage and they're like ginormous. Ugh. And I think of like a mouse. I think of like a hamster, not a hamster. Yeah. Hamsters. Aren't they small like mice? I don't know. Anyway, Emma Bridgewater. Never heard of this one, but I saw these. So I thought I would share it again. Bread and butter, but um, made in England, decorated by hand. $37, three of these sold for, and the buyer paid the shipping. So I would look those up if I saw that brand. All right, so this is a kind of a Stein type mug, and it's a um, Sigma Alpha Epsilon President Stein from 1956. So number one, it's vintage. And I don't know if that's a, I'm guessing that's a fraternity maybe. But um, I, could, I could see this being collectible. I personally think that maybe the seller would have gotten more for this had they just did a high buy it now or best offer simply because, you know, with an auction, you limit yourself to a time frame. 
when maybe only certain people will see the item. Whereas if you let the item sit with a buy it now or best offer, someone could come along, you know, it might take, it might be a long tail item, but you may get $100 for something like this. I would have listed this higher, buy it now or best offer, but that's just my opinion. I could be totally wrong. Maybe it's only a $51 mug. I don't know. The next item I definitely pick up are vintage um, Christmas mugs, if you see them. Um, I have not found any, but I would definitely, definitely pick it up if I saw it. Anything um, Christmas that looks like a face is pretty cool. So this is a Lefton um, made in Japan, which I love made in Japan items. They're like one of my favorite things to look for when I'm out thrifting. Uh, this one sold for $42.99 with nine bids and the buyer paid shipping. All right, so this is a rare Anchor Hawking Fire King Bosco Snow Bear Mug Snowball Fight. And Bosco Mug, it says on the side. Um, hmm. I don't know where they're seeing Anchor Hawking or Fire King. Just trying to, I always try to get you guys um, what to look for, but I don't see it. This one sold for $43 with three bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this antique occupational shaving mug, railroad locomotive. So this is a shaving mug. Definitely be on the lookout for these. They can go for decent money. Here's what's on the bottom. This sold for $40, one bid, buyer paid shipping. Late night with Conan O'Brien sold for $44, four bids, buyer paid shipping. So this is from 2003. I would say, you know, anything that has, you know, like movies or uh, TV shows, sitcoms, you know, they're definitely going to be a bread and butter item. This one did pretty good. $44, I think is a little more than bread and butter. But um, yeah, there's usually somebody looking for something like this. The next item is Spode. This is a set of six. Um, Spode, you know, it's, it's okay. Made in England. They do all right. Uh, there are people that collect them. Another thing this seller could have done is sold these individually because people have collections and if they break one, they may only want to buy one. So this set of six sold for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. Kaba or Yaba. I'm like Kaba. Yaba. Yaba. Yaba Daba. Yaba Daba Do. I can't remember how you say it. Yaba. Yaba Daba Do. How do you say it, guys? I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Yabba dabba doo. I don't know. Anyway, 1960s Hanna Barbara. Um, it's like a looks like a plastic mug. Um, looks really small in that picture, but it's for fruit drink. It says Yabba dabba doo. Trying to get it right. Uh, Forty five dollars. This sold for, and it only had one bait. The next item is this mid-century Franciscan Atomic Starburst 1950s, 1960s Grand Mug. So this mid-century modern look with the Starburst. People collect that. It does have some damage on it. I'm trying to get you a picture of the bottom. There it is. Sold for $41 with five bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Ember Temperature Control Ceramic Mug. These are, I think, a current item that is currently on the market that seem to do pretty good. This one sold for $29 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, Libby Libby. Libby, are they pronounced the same because they're spelled different? Libby Libby? Libby Libby. I don't know. Cobalt Blue Celestial. Celestial. I think I'm saying that wrong too. Sun, moon, and star glass mug. Celestial. Celest? Let's ask Surrey. Celestial. Here's some information. Read it to me. Read it to me. The Celestials are a group of fictional characters. Celestial. In Sounds like an R's in it to me, but maybe not. Okay. Anyhow. I have to ask Surrey everything. Uh, no chips or cracks, but this is just a pretty mug. It sold for $41 with 10 bids and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item is this vintage GOZ Lefton Bluebird of Happiness Child's Mug Cup or Creamer. Super adorable from the 1950s. I definitely would have grabbed this if I saw it. It is so cute. Sold for $40 with 10 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Hustle. Run. Run. Ray Dunn. Hashtag Hustle Mug. Um, and it says M stamp. I don't know what the M stamp magenta, but I don't know if that makes it more valuable. Um, this one may have went for the price it did because it says hustle. I don't know. Ray Dunn's tricky because it's really saturated, but some of the older ones can still do very well. So definitely look them up. This one sold for $36, eight bids, buyer paid shipping. This Royal Dalton. Santa Claus mug. Again, you know, I recommend if it's shaped like something Christmas and it's a mug, it's definitely probably going to be a bread and butter item worth the pickup. If you can get it for the right price, this is from 1983, $34.99, one bid buyer paid shipping. Uh, Teen Shen Country Bear Teapot, four mugs, hot chocolate cocoa, super cute set. I'm shocked that this did not sell for more than $25. Again, this might've been one that I would have started the auction much higher, or I would have done a buy it now or best offer because it's adorable. And it's Tishan, T-I-E-N-S-H-A-N. And again, I can't show you guys um, the bottom because they didn't put a picture. I recommend always putting a picture of the label that tells the brand. Vintage 1978 McDonald's Garfield um, coffee mug glasses, $32. These went for with one bid. Again, these are kind of all over the place. Definitely look them up. If you can get them cheap, you know, they're going to be bread and butter more than likely. Tiki mug. This is a Monktini shrunken head. This is what it says on the bottom. And this one only went for $26, two bids, buyer paid shipping. And Tiki mugs, again, have a huge range. So definitely look them up. This is a Pandemonium Pottery 1981 trash can pottery mug with lid. Kind of interesting. Never seen anything like it. It sold for $36 with 11 bids. Um, and that's what it says on the bottom. So I don't know. That one's different. Never seen it. Buyer paid shipping. It's interesting. I think I probably would have bought it just because it's so unique. But uh, yeah, there's your bread and butter mugs, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let me know what you think. What's your favorite mug to sell? Comment below. And if you made it to the end, comment made it to the end. Thanks for watching.